Okay. Right, we're with Guy Haywood and Neil Dawson. Guy is the global... Uh, global Business Development Bus Director of BTC, BTC in, based in Paris. Based in Paris. Where headquarters is. And Neil is the ETD of London Office, the new London Office. And co-founder. And co-founder of the London Office. Which has only been going for what, six months? It's been going for a year, a year. and three days. And doing brilliantly. <laughs> the guy only joined six months ago. I joined six months ago, yes. It's really a new thing. Yeah, and my job is the expansion of the, the brand, the B2C agency around the world. So London's the first stop. Yeah. They're doing very nicely. Uh, and you poached the best man. We in poached business. absolutely the best man and gave him his best. Matthew, yeah. Be yes, I mean Matthew, the CEO. <laughs> and then we got the second best man, which is Neil, <laughs> yeah. uh, to come together. And they're doing really well because. It's very English, you know that. Well, it, I mean, you didn't sort of um, bring a French person in. Well, it's interesting. Funny, it's it? funny you should say that. Well, funny you should say that. Guy actually brought some new employees for our first anniversary because yep. the Remy and Mercedes felt that the. Uh, Paris, the London office wasn't French enough. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I turned up with a lovely present. For I us. bought a bag of frogs, literally two frogs. <laughs> a gift from Remy and Mercedes. Oh, man, you started the front desk. Actual <laughs> real frog, frogs, yeah. But it started by Remy and Mercedes. They're the founders of the agency. They're B and E. Yes, of course. And they sent me there with a, for their anniversary and party. And Remy's sent you here to Cam because he's actually pitching something. Well, they, both he and Mercedes don't come down until yeah. late on Friday because oh, they're, they're pitching for a major French luxury yeah. brand. I don't think I can say what no, it is. No, you can't say that. But the no. kind of thing well, that I, I wear it sometimes. <laughs> yeah, do you wear it sometimes? It's totally good. <laughs> I think Matthew does. <laughs> what, Chanel number no. 5, you mean? No. <laughs> do you actually? Um, <laughs> so, but it, on the international yeah, go on, thing, go on. Go but interestingly, the Matthew and Neil were chosen not only because they could do really well in London because they're British, but also because they've worked internationally. So Neil had worked in South Africa yep. and had worked on global work for Philips. Matthew himself had worked in America with Modern Easter because the whole idea isn't that London just does the UK market, but it helps us become more international. international. So, I mean, Ma and Ma Matthew and I met working on Johnny Walker. We worked on a BBH together working on yep. Johnny Walker. So, um, We've had a whole Well, we, we, we were brought together to work on a BETC, but we had actually worked together on international stuff. So. And their first clients, I mean, you should talk about them, they got very local, but also very global from in the first year. It was very, it's great. Yeah, so our, our first campaign was for Coburn's Port. Oh, I love that stuff, yeah. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> uh, Cockburn's double, double yeah, right. Exactly. So <laughs> starting with very, very British, you know, plays yes. on words was a nice way to start, particularly as we're sort of, you know, uh, have us obviously a French uh, yeah. holding company. It was so almost too British, it was very, very British. Yeah, yeah, no, we learned, it was good, it was, uh, you know, a it's, a, it's a, a, a favourite of the nation as well, so yes. bringing it back with a new... They've always had that old yeah. cop. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, we've modernised it. <laughs> with, a, with a new end line, pronounced responsibly. Yes, um, yes. Which we like. Be careful how you say it. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Especially um, in Cannes, after uh, a few rosés. So we combined that also with uh, working on the campaign for one of the London mayor candidates, so obviously extremely, not mm. just uh, Britain, but just London actually. Yes. Um, and then contrasted that with things like international work for Samsung, uh, a viral film for one of their um, new smart TVs, yes. which currently has 10,975,000 views. views. I know, I've heard that, yeah. Which we're I'm very, a Samsung fan. Very, very happy with. Well, and then the other thing we're doing is London and Paris don't operate independently. We try and bring them together because when yes. you're a, a relatively small agency taking on the big, you can monsters, actually talk to each other. Yeah, actually try to talk to each other. Yes. So we have to try and do a lot of translation. Neil speaks pretty good French. I'm learning French. Yeah. But so we're we're working on on pitches, international pitches where London and Paris work together, and we've got some success. But I can't talk about it yet. But so B BTC is massive in in Paris. Yeah. Um, so BTC the, the, in Paris. The juggernaut of all time. It's 600, 700 yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. No one can tell me actually how many people there are there. Yeah. Probably so lovely eight. I've been there a couple of times. Really big, really powerful. Lots of great. They do a lot of things inside. Yeah. It's great. You know, there's uh, you know multi, film studio, like, multi talented you know. film <laughs> yeah. studio, music yeah. consultants, yeah. content, yeah. fashion. So they're actually they were quite ahead of their almost like the old days. Agency came back in France, that never left to have that big big studio would be there. Yeah. Like yeah. sort of. They can basically do like anything. Like JWT in the sort of 1940 or something. Well, do the ads as well. Well, they're a lot, yeah, a lot cooler than that. I mean, they're they do sometimes talk about being also an ad agency, which is quite yes. appropriate, because they would do obviously a lot of advertising, but a lot of the other stuff is all the stuff around the edges. Yeah. A lot of content, um, a lot of events. What would be the next stop? I mean, after you got London, Paris, it's almost like one of those ads, like London, Paris, New York, um, uh, Rome. 
It's a very, you know, we're building a global, truly global capability, and so you've got to be in the States. So yep. I'm spending a lot of time looking at how you do the States. Do you do startup? Do you do mega startup? Do you buy something? Do you buy something? Yeah. And then if you're going to acquire, it's, you've got to be really careful about the culture. BTC, you know, culture is very important for Absolutely. a creative agency like BTC. So uh, we're the two, two countries we're looking at now. So it's um, the US, of course, and Brazil. Yeah. The, the, you know, so. You, know, you don't be a rocket scientist to figure yeah. out which are the major markets we yeah. would be in as you Absolutely. build a global capability yeah, now. So. And then Asia next or something like and that. Yeah. Those next. So yeah. nail those first. Uh, brick. I mean, brick. London has started so brilliantly that I can, you know, don't need to worry too much about London. It's more about yeah. getting London and Paris to work effectively, and so there will be evidence of that very soon. So in, with the new business wins, so that's great. So yeah, so USA, and then I think it's about the talent rather than the location. Yeah. It's interesting. You talk to all the creative agencies in the US and they all say, stay away from New York. However, if you found the right talent who want to be in New York, you'd go to New York in a shot. Parisians, Parisians love New York. I think so. New York's great now. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so that's what we're, we're working on. So I hope in the next, you know, I don't know how these things take time. You know, of course, it could find the right five people, years. But I hope we would be able to show major talent on the map, Paris, London, somewhere in the US, and somewhere in Brazil. I mean, much debate about where do you go in Brazil? Exactly. You know, yeah. The obvious place is Sao Paulo, yeah. but maybe, actually, we shouldn't, be doing, we shouldn't be doing the obvious place. Yeah, well, well that's got to think about it, isn't it? Yeah. Fresh, fresh eyes. I mean, really. the sense of the film production business in Brazil is actually Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. And no, there's no agency in Rio. Well, well not well, there is, but, there are, not, but, but, we, but everyone's famous from, from South Paulo. And also there's connectivity between Rio and Paris, because in the old days when Concorde oh. used to fly there, there's a lot of French people who, who got on the Concorde and never went home. So, you know, there's lots of things to think about. Well, literally, didn't yeah, literally, yeah. when a plane crash? It was, a <laughs> <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> they weren't flying to Rio. <laughs> they were, I thought it was from Rio. They were just, there was another one. They were just exactly. flying around and giving people a champagne we'll tour. No, that was tragic. But, yep. um, so there's lots of things to think about, and so much of it's about this, the culture mm. and doing something where people go, oh, wow, that's interesting. These guys are thinking about it, they're different, um, and I'd like to be part of it. So the BETC to me always doesn't almost seem French. I just think it's, it's BETC. Uh, there's, there's a sort of a More great... Well, yeah, but a, very, but a great agency, and they've done some fantastic... Work. Especially this year, of course, they've got Canul plus um, Bear in Yeah, there, the Bear's done very well Grand for Prix us. contender. Massive Grand Prix. Well, people say that. Yeah, we can't say that. Of course, no, but, but we will. Yeah, I can say that. Okay. Yeah, you can say it, that. Because I'm London. Your favourite, yeah, yeah. from Paris, yeah. It's yeah. going to eat the pigs. The best French ad. It's eat the pigs, yeah. The Bear's going to eat the pigs. Cool, though, and it is really telling, as you build at any agency anywhere, the thing that talks is the work and then the business wins. I mean, that's yeah. you, know, you can do chat about all sorts of things, but ultimately it's about the work. And so the yeah. Bear has been brilliant for raising our profile around the world. Absolutely. And and for, for, for any, anybody coming into the part of the BETC family as well, all, you know, a guy going to speak to guys in the US or South America, there's a fantastic opportunity for someone who mm. just wants to, to, to be part of a great creative culture. That's all Remy wants, a great creative agency around the world. Because they did some lovely stuff, even at um, you know, uh, the consumer level, where, where everyone loved the little baby roller yeah, skates. You know? I, mean, I mean, I love that because you know I'm I a mean, sucker. But yeah, it, to I mean, me, I thought, oh, you know, is it is it really my style, style of creative ad? But I, I I think it worked both ways. The, the judges kind of liked it as well as well, the uh, hugely effective. Uh, it's just massively. Can not that hold the record? In, in front, hundred seven, million. Yeah, <laughs> seventy-five million. Or yeah, million. Uh, can't keep track. But it's also it's an interesting we're here and it's all about awards. The uh, Avian work often wins media awards, media effectiveness awards, yes. because much of it has never really been on television. Much of it's been online, it online out video, and getting out eyeballs. There. Um, so that's that's always a huge a, a case for the agency. And the other thing I think is interesting about it, and one of the things the agency is very good at, is it's turned the commodity commodity into a hugely valuable brand. And so premiumization of brands is something that the agency is very very good at. You know, partly because it's got all this expertise in luxury. Any Parisian agency has to be expert in luxury because there's so many luxury brands in Paris. But applying that then to FMCG brands has, has brought about uh, this sort of whole premiumization of, of everyday brands, which is a, very valuable now. But you started uh, 180 with two other... Two or three others, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. And that, that was a huge... I suppose it's still a huge success. It's, uh, Amsterdam centric and LA. Yes, Amsterdam and LA. LA. Yes. Um, so have you had a sort of experience with um, growing something, but this has obviously <laughs> got more bu budget behind it. <laughs> you can, well, in theory, <laughs> you in know. theory, when it's your own money, it's a lot easier <laughs> oh, to yeah, spend it than when yeah, it's someone yeah, else's yeah. money. But you did a great thing with 180. I mean, it came out of nowhere, and it was you know called 180, and then it was hot. 
Well, it came out of nowhere. We were the only successful startup out of Wyden and Kennedy, mm, I would argue. True, yeah. Uh, yeah, we had a great... We were so lucky. I mean, having a client like Adidas, who at that time wanted to truly take on Nike, I mean, yeah. that is a gift, you know, Absolutely. as an agency. Then every conversation is, hold on, this isn't going to beat Nike. So it gave us a huge opportunity to go do great work. And you had yeah. that sort of Kiwi, Aussie we had, combo there. We, we had Mr. Fackrell and Mr. Bullock, yeah. crazy, well, I don't know what they are. Well, Bullock's Fackrell's definitely here, Australia, but... Fackrell's here, yeah. and they were, you know, a force of nature, yeah, and unstoppable. Not... Yeah, absolutely. And interestingly, what, what, while so much of the work came from them, we had a really solid creative director, Peter McHugh, who's in the US now. Yeah. I've never seen a creative director absorb so much stress and protect his teams yes. and therefore the work. The work, yeah. So, you know, the, those boys always get the credit, but they, they had a bouncer in front of them in PMAC, Peter McHugh, yeah. who has such a great partner in just dealing with all the stress, basically ignoring everything I said, ignoring everything the client <laughs> said, and just protecting the work. And it was just, you know, they, they were, as a team, they worked brilliantly. You had Rich and Andy were on fire, yeah. and PMAC in front just taking all the bullets. Absolutely. And it, re and it really, really worked. So Neil, you've had a bit of stress in your life, I suppose. Um, <laughs> Doesn't working at like EDP with Craig and anywhere near you, probably. Well, um, uh, he, he was, was he the, kept he, away from you. He was always the de-stresser. <laughs> oh, the de-stresser. Yeah. Have another rosé. Well, <laughs> I, I have to say, his King of Can reputation oh. really annoys the shit out of me because he didn't. There's a room up there. You can see him. He's usually hanging out with nothing on. I have to say, he didn't come to Can until about 2000. 2000 was it? Yeah, it's. Uh, it's been um, here 10 years, baby. And I used to come about five years before he did. Yeah. Every year I used to come, he used to go, you're such a wanker. Yeah. And then he'd be turned into a real wanker. And then we, I said, one year, I said, come along. Come and he's on. never looked back. So He hosts a lovely party on Saturday, usually. Yeah. He does indeed. <laughs> he does indeed, <laughs> he, yes. We, he really came to our lunch yesterday and on, the, on the column door. And yeah. he's, uh, you know, he's an yeah. honorary Aussie, really. Yeah, he behaves that badly. Enough of DDB. But you must have learned so much at uh, that great agency. I mean, were you there almost when it was BMP still? So I did five years at BMP. Yeah. So where I worked on VW and various other you know, surprisingly ordinary prices, which oh, I'm disappointed to hear yesterday is now not the most awarded uh, of all time. Pr print out of all time. What's it, who it, talked about one? In its unlucky 13th year at the top of the tree. Yeah. Uh, is it taken about that Samsonite. Chinese one? Yeah, yeah Samsonite. Samsonite. Chinese one. Yeah. I, I don't which, think I ever uh, ran the Samsonite. Either. Which Jeremy actually but took great a pleasure a in telling me last night, actually. <laughs> Because it's, it's still Samsonite my favourite. Yeah. yeah, because it's one everywhere. It's a, a good yeah, needle. Yeah. Could, I, could I say actually there are more award shows than yeah, than now this in year those than there were in 1999. In those days, there was nothing. Like. I think if you did an average, I think you'll find we were still. But there. I think anyway. I, I took up glasses at that stage. You know, yeah, I thought yeah. that was a great ad for. So I did five years at BMP, um, you know, working on all the different accounts yeah. with my copywriter, and then came back to do another five years, almost five years on Philips. Yeah. So and you I won a Grand Prix for Philip. Two Grand Prix. Two Grand Prix. Con consecutive Grand Prix. Did you? Oh, consecutive Grand Prix. Yeah. Oh, you're like um, Michael Schumacher. Yeah, you're um, like that. Yeah. But it's not I'll tell you what, it, you just learn, a, it was a hell of a learning curve doing being a global credit director, an international mm. credit director. So yeah. you're not only credit directing teams, you're all the time credit directing credit directors, which is yeah. slightly trickier. Uh, which is why having Jeremy there is, is a good mate. You know, I just would work directly with his teams very, very easy. So um, you now but you're building with clients up around the world as well in in Asia, in South America, yep. in the States. You know, it's invaluable experience. How many creatives are in the London agency at the state? We've got uh, it's quite small, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got uh, five creatives plus me plus Clive, who's my old copywriter. Yeah, who is it Pickering? I've brought back in Mr. Yeah, P. Course, yeah, yeah. Um, He's got the title Keeper of the Frogs. Yes. He's a yeah. man from the river, he, he looks after you said that. river yeah. anim animals. Or, or just the frogman. Uh, yeah. And when I, hand, when I handed that. the frogs <laughs> over, the earlier frogs <laughs> over that we were talking about, the, 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 the amphibians that is, yeah. um, he immediately came to Neil and took him off and said, they're dying, they're dying. And he went off and looked after So he has the title now, Keeper of the Frogs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, no, it's, it's small and uh, yeah, but it's tight small and, uh, and uh, highly awarded and very, very experienced. Yeah. And we're, we're just looking for new young creatives now as well, to bring them through as well. So, Where are uh, the new creatives coming from in the world? There's probably hundreds around here looking for jobs. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, I'm, I'm, meeting, uh, I'm, meeting, uh, I'm meeting a young team, I think, from somewhere in Scandinavia in about 20 yeah, minutes, I think. good, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're good uh, digital people, anyway. Yeah, and I, well, I turned up, um, I arrived here on Sunday and met up with some my old South African buddies, because apart from London, I spent three years working in, yeah, in Africa, South, South Africa, Africa, which is where I met Mr. Bullock. Um, were you at Hunt Mascaras or were I was you? in Cape Town, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you went. So we, I'm more civilised down there. Yeah. We were the Poms in Cape Town and they <laughs> were the Aussies in, in Joburg, yes, so we'd, yeah. uh, we'd compete. Um, 
but yeah, there's a lot of great talent there. There's a so lot I've of good South African talent. Yeah, so so yeah. I've met up with a couple of those guys. Yeah. We're thinking about maybe there's an opportunity to have a sort of a London a team that you know that is relevant to London and Paris, yeah, but something yeah. different even Absolutely. again, you know. Because uh, I think Tim um, uh, Bullock, uh, Richard Bullock's actually in in Perth. He's yeah. He actually directs from there. Yeah, he directs from there. I don't know how he operates. I mean, it's classic it, Bullock. He's chosen the single, the furthest point from anywhere oh, totally. in, in the world. Europe, I used to live there. there. <laughs> there was a, miles away. It was classic he, Bullock. He, it probably takes him three days to get anywhere. Oh yeah. He, 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 was he goes quote, by boat, doesn't he? It was a great <laughs> quote from him. He just goes, "The more I look disinterested about the work, more work the, the more work I seem to get." Oh, that's the way it does. That's the way it does. Look like you don't give a shit. Oh, he's good. I've got to get he's Bullock. Cool. Get Bullock. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. <laughs> so what else is happening this week? We got. Um, how, how would you know when you're explaining to the world clients that BTC is doing a, a global network and a small global network? I mean, is it is there a you know is there a French thing you know you know a French problem by you know problem. by being a French network? I mean, not saying that they don't like the French, but it just seems to be. Um, you know, some people are oh, now. We want to be with um, you know, BBDO, or whatever. I mean, will that ever be a problem anyway? Um, I don't know. I mean, the French are very conscious of being French, and they keep yeah. saying it might be a problem. And um, we keep saying it doesn't matter. The work's good, and your relationship's good. Uh, you can interpret because there won't be French people in, every, around the world. It's not like Euros no. everywhere, no, and they, think, they survive. Think, and so did uh, the work Arnold. Will, the work will always transcend that, and I think that's shown over the you know. The, the, Bear is the third ad in a row that has creatively has done well. You had the March of the Emperors, Absolutely. then you had Closet, and you had Bear. So the credentials are leading the way. Yeah, I yeah. think so. And I know yeah. Stefan, who's my counterpart in uh, Paris, you know, has been over because it's won everything in the States, and they've been nominated Agency of the Year. You know, yes, and I uh, think there might be some French people who might thought that would never happen or anything like that. So I think there's that unique. French flair combined with with us in London. And it is very French flair, isn't it? It's and then you can't invent that stuff. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, then he knew. Wow. Uh, uh, the March of the Emperor, of the Emperor, yeah. the Penguins. Yeah. They were shot by an Aussie team. I think it was a was Blue it? Society. Yeah. But uh, it's yes. a very an international idea, and I think absolutely. That, uh, yeah, that's um, the thing. They are very. They know how to do universal, and, and not a lot they, of French agencies know how to do that. I think. Yeah. Well, not a lot of agencies. Full no, stop, full stop. To, to get a world um, the viral are, hits and things, they, they, they're the masters. Well, I mean. increasingly, the clients who are really interested want people to come up with the global ideas. Yes. You know, they're less and less interested in having an office in every market. Now yes. we obviously need to expand. Our so it's a bit like Nike, you know, to add it as thinking. You've got to get out there and use the free media as much as you can. Yeah. And also, I mean, the big clients have all got their own distribution systems already, so they don't yeah. need to worry so much about the, the, the plumbing. No. It's about putting quality content. And no one's going to watch anything uninteresting. It has no. to be no, interesting. Has so to be the ability great. to engage and entertain and then slip in a few messages is, yeah. is invaluable. Yeah. That question comes up a lot about how you make things viral. Viral. Isn't it? It starts with. It's yeah, it's got to be a great film. Entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Good. But it's on any, any screen, any small, large. Yeah. To start with a great, um, great the, concept. Uh, yeah, and the agency, well, both in London and Paris, have got digital at the heart, and neither of them have got separate digital departments and all that kind of stuff. It's all great ideas thrown into the pot together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's been no pushback on us being French or anything, because you immediately show the work, people go, oh wow, okay. Exactly. And you you, you, you so show those three straight away, so and then you go, oh shit. You, know, you, can blab you did on those on, ones. You can blab <laughs> on about agency <laughs> positioning and philosophies and stuff. And are you allowed to show some of your work, that's sort of, you know, from a personal point of view, of course, when you're pitching? You have to. It's, it's, you you did mean, it. Work? Well, your own work. I mean, you did. What, you did the work a bit. Yeah, yeah, previous work. Uh, or do you, you try not to do it? Yeah, well, you, you have to initially, I think. But, um, you have you know, to be obvious, uh, honest about where Yeah, of course. It was you know, done. this was done at B and B, and this was done at B and B. Yeah, yeah, of course. You know, always very. That's your right, and you know. Uh, but now we're just over a year old. We, we don't do that anymore. Yeah. You've got enough, haven't you? We've got a yeah. body of work. Yeah. We just, you've very... I think the Cockburns came in, or the Kier yeah. And you, um, the, I think, the latest Pearl and Dean thing, that with Big Cinema ad that you've very kind of got Of course, yes. Is, uh, Keep sending it. It's going down gangbusters. Um, yeah. So, you know, I think after a year, I think you've got to then kind of you see, you've got to... Yeah. That's your, your pedigree, your history that, that yeah. sits in your bio or whatever. Yeah. But, you know, we don't... Don't use it any other work. Yeah. Well, good luck to the 
for the for the French anyway on the on Saturday because I'm sure that will win the Grand Prix. I mean, oh, even yeah, Mark yeah, Tutsell yeah. said it would win. Oh, yeah, he's Mark, he's yeah, rooting yeah. for the the other one, the English yeah. one, but if he the, said if it's, the big it's bound to be the bear. If the big breather from Chicago yes, says it's going I'd, to I'd, win, I'd, oh yeah, he, he does the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> he's already Boy, he he's does asked, do the numbers. He's asked every much. judge, what do you think? <laughs> he's worked it out already. Anyway, good luck, and uh, if you did win it, I'll probably see on the cross step with a. Brilliant. Big Grand Prix in your hand. And Remy will be down for that? Remy will be down yeah. for that. He wouldn't Ste miss a Grand Prix. Stefan, who's the <laughs> man, man behind And Steph, of course. Yeah. Stefan, yeah. It's Stefan, it's Stefan with an X. The seven. Stefan It's yeah. almost too hard to say, but he'll be down on the boat on Friday, I imagine. Yes, absolutely. You'll yeah, see great. him there. Yes. Yeah. Being nervous, probably. Oh, I'll feeling, be there too. Feeling the pressure, <laughs> but uh, yeah. yeah, he'll be there to welcome you. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. See you then.